In this lesson, we're going to be dividing polynomials by binomials. Um, in particular, we're going to do long division on, this, on these um, few examples. So before we begin doing a polynomial divided by a bono, uh, binomial, we're going to do more of a numeric version of this to kind of compare um, what it is the math that's actually happening. So we're going to divide. So the first one we're going to do is we're going to take 13 um, and we're going to divide it into 2,809. And let's just make sure we have the concept of how this long division works because it's really going to be exactly the same idea, the same concept when we start using polynomials and binomials. So um, whatever you're dividing by goes on the outside, whatever you're dividing into goes on the inside, and we are trying to make 13 get as close as we can to 28 without going over. All right, so I do this in a different color. <clears throat> so many times does 13 go into 28? And it goes into it two times. Notice that we are going to be on the second digit, so we're going to line up under that. That's also, also going to be true when we are dividing polynomials. So then we're going to multiply those two pieces together, 26, and we subtract. So that gets us a 2, and we bring down the 0. Now we do the exact same thing. How many times does 13 go into 20? It goes into 20 one time, so we multiply, we subtract, that gets us a 7, and we bring down. It gets us a 9. How many times does 13 go into 79? It goes into it 6 times, which is 78. So we multiply, we subtract, and we get a remainder of 1. So since we have a remainder, that tells us that 13 is not a factor. Because it doesn't divide into it evenly. So how do we write our remainder? Um, yeah, we could put the R1, or we could do a couple different things. We could add decimals and keep on going, but we don't need to. We're just gonna stop with this, and we're gonna have, it's 216, and 1 13th. That is our answer to it. So the process and the steps are going to be identical. It's going to look more complicated, but it's exactly the same thing. Um, it looks more complicated just because we have variables mixed within them. They're polynomials dividing into polynomials. So um, here's what ours is going to look like. We're going to take um, 2x or 4x squared minus 22x plus 32. We're going to take that quadratic, that trinomial, and divide it by 2x plus 3. All right, so the setup is exactly the same as this one. We have 2x plus 3 dividing into 4x squared minus 22x plus 32. All right, so very similar to this is we're going to try to make this multiply by something so it can cancel away as much as we can out of this. In particular, we're going to try to make that 2x match the 4x squared so we can cancel them away. All right, so what can we multiply 2x by to make it become 4x squared? Well, that would be 2x. Now notice that I'm lining it up under the second term because we're going to multiply, just like up here, that 2 got multiplied to the 13 when I needed to be two digits in. This 2x is going to multiply and distribute to the whole thing, so I'm going to have two terms. So 2 times 2x is 4x squared plus 6x. So there's the multiplying piece. Then we ended up subtracting those. So we're going to subtract this entire polynomial. All right, so really we're just gonna distribute the negative in. So I'm gonna distribute the negative in, distribute the negative in, and I'm gonna change that sign. So we're gonna subtract those pieces, and this should cancel every single time. If it doesn't, then you didn't pick the right term. So that cancels. Negative 22 and a negative six makes negative 28x, and we bring down plus 32. Just like here, we subtracted, 
we brought down. So now we're trying to make 2x become negative 28x, and that's going to be times a negative 14. So negative 14 times 2 is negative 28x. Negative 14 times negative 3, or negative 14 times 3, is um, a negative 42. All right, and then we're going to subtract this entire piece, just like we do on every single one of these. We subtract. So this, for our polynomial, our binomial, it's going to distribute and change both of their signs. And every time, it should cancel out the first term. If it doesn't, you didn't pick the right value. So here, this adds up to 74. We have run out of values, so that is our remainder. So since we have a remainder, this is not a factor. And so, if we were to take um, this quadratic and divide it by this um, linear, this binomial, we would get 2x minus 14 plus, since they're all separate terms, plus our remainder over what we were dividing by, which is exactly the same idea as our remainder over what we were dividing by. All right, so let's do one more. So we're gonna take two x cubed minus seven x squared plus 12, and we are going to divide by x minus two. All right, we're looking for whatever that becomes. So. To do the math on this, whatever we're dividing by is going to go on the outside. So we're going to have x minus 2 on the outside. And on the inside, we have 2x to the third minus 7x squared. But we don't have an x. So just like up here, we didn't have a value for the tens place value. So we don't skip it, because if you skipped it, that wouldn't be 2,000 anymore. So you have to fill it with a zero. Well, we haven't really ever done that before, So, but we do need to do this when we're doing division. So we have to fill the x value. So we need to fill it with a zero x, and then plus 12. So every single term has to be accounted for when you're doing long division. So let's begin the process. So we need to make this x become 2x cubed. So to do that, we're going to multiply it by 2x squared. So we'll multiply it to both terms, and then we'll subtract them. So that's going to be a 2x cubed minus 4x squared. And we're going to subtract both of those terms, which basically means we're going to change their signs. All right, those go away, as they should every time. This becomes a negative 3x squared, and we bring down the next term. All right, we need x to become negative 3x squared. So that's going to be a negative 3x multiplied to it. So negative 3x times x is negative 3x squared plus um, negative 3x times negative 2 plus 6x. And we're going to subtract these, so we're going to change their signs. Cancels. Negative 6x. Bring down the 12. All right, so what are we going to multiply the x by to make it become a negative 6x? Just a negative 6. So if we multiply that, that's going to be a negative 6x plus... 12, and we're going to subtract this, so that's going to change their signs. Those cancel, those cancel, we get a zero. So if you divide something in, and if we would have gotten a zero for the remainder up here, that meant that that value would have divided in evenly. And if it divided in evenly, that also meant that it was a factor. So 
we have the fact that this is our remainder, which also means that x minus 2 is a factor divided in evenly. So the answer that we get out of this when we did divide it was 2x squared minus 3x minus 6 with no remainder because it divided in evenly. All right, and that is dividing a polynomial by a binomial, long division.